Hold on to your helmets, folks, because the Department of Veterans Affairs is about to drop a bomb that just may shake up the real estate game. Let's dive into the juicy details to the side of drama, shall we? I mean, it is the VA, right? Okay, so the VA is set to release a new circular, which sounds fancy, but it basically means that they're just sending out a board of five members. However, this will bridge the gap, that's what it's called, in their law that currently bans VA buyers from paying their real estate broker. See, drama. This earth shattering news was revealed at the Mortgage Bankers Association Secondary and Capital Markets Conference in New York on Saturday. <laughs> because where else would you announce you were releasing a circular, right? Seriously. <laughs> the current VA policy says that veterans can use a buyer broker with their VA loan, but paying them? Well, that could get you thrown in the brig. No, really. It's the VA just says that's a big no, no. They don't want to have the, the veteran have to pay more than the home. Anyway, enter the NAR, right? The National Association of Realtors and their magnificent settlement agreement that they just ratified, which states that listing brokers cannot make blanket offers on cooperative compensation to a buyer's agent. The buyers now must sign a representation agreement which outlines payment details. Talk about complicating things. Now, the potential impact on veterans with these changes, you may have some sellers say that they just don't want to pay any compensation. And this could really hurt veteran home buyers by the truckload. And because why make things easy? The Mortgage Bankers Association sent a love letter to the VA highlighting that veterans would be disadvantaged if they can't pay their agents any compensation at all, and veterans might just get the short end of the stick once again. The VA's response says that the VA will issue the circular while it's engaging in formal rulemaking process. And the translation to that is, we're working on it, folks. Calm down. Or hurry up and wait which is typical for the VA. Now, industry reactions are that the MBA is all for this move, stating that any inaction would severely disadvantage veteran buyers, especially in today's tight inventory market. Thank goodness someone's thinking ahead. Now, the National Association of Realtors position uh, shows that NAR has been pushing for the VA to change its compensation rule for years, no doubt. And surprisingly, they didn't have any comments when they were asked if they were going to. Maybe they're just too busy drafting one more agreement. Get with the program, VA. So there you have it. The VA is trying to make things fair for veterans in the real estate market, but it is a bumpy road filled with a boatload of potholes. So stay tuned for more updates because this roller coaster, far from over. If you're looking to save a boatload of money, whether you're buying or selling a house, let's get together and together, let's get housed.